Hi, in this lesson, we're going to explore mouse events. Mouse events are used to help the user interact with the program, making it more fun and engaging. So what is a mouse event? A mouse event is when the user does something with a mouse, such as clicking, moving, or even hovering over a particular part of the screen. We can write programs to do different things depending on what and where they do it. To respond to an event, we use what we call a callback function. A callback function is a function that gets called by your program in response to an event. When we use the mouse click method, we can specify a function that will run when the mouse is clicked. We are essentially linking or binding a function to a particular action. Here we can see the basic usage. We create a function that can have any name. In this example, we call it click handler. Notice that the function takes one input parameter. In this example, it's the letter E, but it could be any variable name. Remember, input parameters are variables that we have available to use in our function. We then bind the function by using the mouse click method command in the main function. Inside the parentheses, we pass the function name. Now notice here that the function name does not include parentheses or the parameter. It's just the function name. Now when the mouse button is clicked, the click handler function will execute. So what is this E? E is the parameter that holds information about the event. The information we're going to get is the X and Y location of the mouse. We can do this by using the get X and get Y commands. So notice the syntax here. We use E dot get X with an open and closed parentheses to get the X location of the mouse. Similarly, we use E dot get Y to return the Y location of the mouse click. Let's look at a quick example of how we can draw a circle centered at a point where the user clicks. We're going to create a function to draw the circle. Notice that the input to this function is the parameter E. We create our circle with a radius of 20. To set the position, we use the E parameter with the get X and get Y commands. Finally, to get this function to execute when the user clicks their mouse, we use the mouse click method to bind the circle um, to the event. Notice that the command executes each time when we click the mouse, not just once. Once you bind a function to an event, it will ex execute each time um, that the event happens without needing to loop. So let's explore mouse clicks in the editor. Okay, so let's take a look at the mouse click method in action. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to create a new circle. So we're going to populate this function draw circle that's going to essentially create this circle for us. So we're going to say new circle, we'll give it a diameter of 20. Okay. Now we can also give it a color, we're going to set the color to a random color. Now more importantly though, we need to use this event information. So when the event happens, it sends this information in that parameter E, and we can use that to help position the circle for us. So we're going to say circle.setPosition and we're going to use e dot get x. So again, that takes the x position from the event, which is essentially where the mouse clicked, and we're going to do e dot get y, which is the y position of where that mouse was clicked. Okay, and that's going to be our position. Then we can add our circle. Okay, so if I go and run this now, nothing happens because, um, oops, forgot my equal sign there. Nothing happens because I haven't bound the event to it. So what I have to do is stop that and then I'm going to run here and say mouse click method and then I'm going to tell it which function I want to use which is now this draw function. And again, no parentheses, no parameter in there, just the method name. So now when I run this, every time I click I get a random circle. And again, notice that there is no loop here. It just keeps going because it's bound to that action. And so I get a new event every time, and it puts those circles there. So go ahead and explore this on your own.